I have a Samsung Galaxy S7 here, and I'm going to show you how to enter as well as exit safe mode. Now, to start off with, it's going to depend on what carrier phone you have. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. Now, if you have an international phone or your phone's from Verizon, I'm going to show you the first way how you can do it. Now, if you have a phone from like a US carrier such as T Mobile, ATT, or Sprint, it, you're going to have to get in safe mode going a different route okay so the first route here I'm gonna go ahead and show you is if you have an international phone basically if you don't have T-Mobile AT&T or Sprint so what you want to do is go ahead and press your power button down like this and then once you get this menu here what you want to do is press and hold let me go back in here again press and hold the power off and once you hold this for one or two seconds you're going to get another menu that's going to pop up and it's going to ask you if you want to boot your phone in safe mode and you simply click on restart and then you're in safe mode now, if you have a T-Mobile phone like I have here or a Sprint or a uh, AT&T, then you're going to have to do it this way. What you want to do is go ahead and power off your phone completely, just like this. Okay, and then once it's powered down, go ahead and power it back up. And as soon as you, okay, as soon as you see the um, Samsung animation, pop on you want to press and hold down the volume down button okay so give it a second here we go press and hold the volume down button now and continue to press it until you're actually booted up into your phone okay and you can see my phone is from T-Mobile I'm still holding down my volume down button okay and there we go now we're in safe mode okay now to get out of safe mode you simply want to do is just reboot your phone and then you'll be out of safe mode. Now let me just go into a little bit of specifics here about like safe mode. So I'm in safe mode now. And now basically what this is going to do is only load your basic drivers and it's going to disable all of your third party apps. What are third party apps? Basically apps that you downloaded. For instance, my traffic rider here is a game. Let me click on that. And you can see down here it says download apps disabled while safe mode is turned on. Okay. Now, if your phone is acting up, if it's freezing, it's losing a lot of battery juice, if it's causing errors, or something is not working right on your phone, then it's very possible that it could be an application that you downloaded that is conflicting with your Android OS. So what you can do from here is, if when you're in safe mode, if the problem is not happening now, then it's a good chance it's one of your apps. So what you wanna do now while you're in safe mode is go ahead and start uninstalling these apps. What you, Preferably what would want to do is delete your last app that you remembered um, Downloading before you started having these issues with your phone and then once you install that one program go ahead and uh, Reboot your phone to get out of safe mode and then hopefully your phone is not going to have any of those um, Malfunctions or errors if it does then go back into safe mode and uninstall the next app or a couple more apps and that's pretty much it. And like I said, just to get out of safe mode, simply just restart your, your phone and you'll be back up and running. Any questions, comment below. If you guys subscribe, share, like, I appreciate it. All right, thanks, bye.